hello everyone welcome back to the channel if you are new here welcome and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back this is my mom and my budget and in today's video we are going to update our savings fund and saving challenges for the second quarter of 2021 so let's get started um so these are my savings fund and saving challenges binder i'll just put this to the side and this is my um, notebook with my tracker so let's open it here so this is our saving challenges tracker and this is our savings tracker so let's start first with our saving challenges tracker for the saving challenges i am doing three saving challenges and those are the 52 weeks challenge 12 month challenge and the this month savings challenge okay so for the 52 weeks challenge i am doing an increment of 20 pesos per week so that is um 20 pesos on the first week followed by 40 pesos 60 pesos 80 pesos and so on and so forth and at the end of the year um our total savings will be 27,560 pesos and the next saving challenge that i'm doing is the 12 month saving challenge which is i am saving 500 pesos every month and for the this month's um, saving challenge um these are only from um leftover from our food and food delivery budget so let's start with our 52 weeks saving challenge so for the 52 weeks challenge for the month of june we are already in week 26 so let's count how much we have managed to save so far in our 52 weeks challenge so i'll take out the money here so for the 52 weeks challenge um we have one two three four five six six thousand five hundred seven thousand twenty so we have seven thousand twenty pesos for the 52 weeks challenge okay so let's see how many boxes we can color i'll just set this aside guys I'll just write first um, the amount here. We have your the total amount that we have saved um, as of June 2021 in 52 weeks challenge is 7,020. So let's check how many boxes we can color this time. Let me just zoom you in, guys. Okay, so we have 7,020 pesos, so we can color up to, let's get our green colored pencil. We can color up to um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can color 10 boxes, that is 7,000 pesos. So let's color this one. So we have 7,000 pesos. Okay, so the next one that we have is our 12 month saving challenge. So for the 12 month saving challenge, we have a total of. Let's take out the cash first. So for 12 month saving challenge, we have managed to save 1,500, 2,500. 3,000 so we have 3,000 pesos in 12 months saving challenge so let's check how many boxes we can color this time for 12 months saving challenge I'm going to zoom in guys again so we have 3,000 pesos um, let me just get my pink colored pencil for the 12 month saving challenge we can color up to we can color two boxes we have 2000 and 3000 okay and i'm going to write here also the total for the 12 month saving challenge which is 3000 pesos so the last saving challenge that we have is this month saving challenge so let's see how much we have saved so these are only from 
this is only from um, food and food delivery leftover Ooh. okay so let's also get the coins get the coins here okay so for um this month savings challenge we have one two three four five so that's five thousand five hundred six thousand one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that's seven thousand one hundred fifty 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, and 295, 300. So we have 7,300 pesos. And this month's savings, wow, that's a lot. This is really amazing. so let me just zoom you in again guys okay so for this month savings challenge we have 7300 pesos so we can color up to this box so we have one two three four five six seven so we can color seven boxes Let's write it here. So we have seven thousand. We have seven thousand three hundred. Okay. So later I will compute um how much we have um saved for the second quarter. So that's it for our saving challenges, and I am just so amazed that um we have saved this much so far in our saving challenges only let's go to our savings fund so for the savings fund um the first one that we have is personal savings so let's see so personal savings has a total of let's take out the cash so we have here one two three four five six thousand five hundred six hundred seven hundred so we have 6,700 pesos in personal savings. Let's put this aside and okay, so we can color up to 6,000. Let me just get our pencil. Okay, so we have two boxes to color. Personal saving now has six thousand seven hundred pesos. Next is calamity fund, and for calamity fund, this is my short-term goal for this year. Um, I want to save fifty thousand pesos within the year. So let's count how much we have managed to save in the first half of the year. So let's take our calamity fund. So let's take out the cash. Okay. So for calamity fund, we have um, I have this um ten thousand pesos placeholder. So this um represent the ten thousand pesos that I have deposited in the bank. So we have here ten thousand pesos. So ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 500, 15,500, 16,500, 16,500. So we have 16,500 in Calamity Fund. So let me just write it down before I forget it. 16,500. Okay, so let's see how many boxes we can color this time. Okay, so for Calamity Fund, we can color 
um, three yeah three boxes have here twelve thousand fourteen thousand and sixteen thousand okay so some of you guys are wondering what is um our calamity fund for so i got this idea from um mr chinkitan a filipino youtuber and world coach um he has a channel which is um ching positive in one of his videos um he said that everyone should have these three most important um funds so that is um calamity fund emergency fund and retirement fund so calamity fund is for unforeseen events some sickness or broken things or appliances so emergency fund is for um three to six months of um living expenses so that the need and utilities or in case of loss of income and the last one is the retirement fund which is for the future okay so this is our first priority for this year and after this is um emergency fund and debt fund so let's move on to emergency fund so for emergency fund let's see how much we have in our envelope emergency fund now has 1500 2500 600 so we have 2600 pesos in emergency fund so let's see if we can color a box in emergency fund so for emergency fund okay so the first box that we have is worth 5000 pesos so for now we cannot color any box for our emergency fund so i'll just write down first how much we have we have 2006 oh i got it wrong it should be here 2,600 pesos we have here 6,500 and for personal savings 6,700 okay, I'll just erase this guys so the last one that we have is that fund so for that fund um, I'm trying to save um, 100,000 for the next um, 2 to 3 years so after we have fully funded our calamity fund hopefully this year so my next um priority is that fund and then emergency fund so as you can see right now i'm doing all these three but um emergency fund and that fund um i i only stop it with a minimum amount or a small amount so after i am done with calamity fund i will be stopping that fund with um high amount and then emergency fund with a minimum amount so let's see how much we have in that fund let's get the war envelopes oops emergency so for that fund we have okay so we have one two three five four we have four thousand one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so for that fund we have a total of five thousand pesos so that's a long way to go but still any progress is still progress so let's see if we can color any box in that fund okay so for that fund um the first box that we have is four thousand pesos so that means that we can color this one box okay so, so let me just write down that band has 5000 pesos so we just um quickly add all this to see how much we have Managed to save in our debt and our um, savings fund and saving challenges for the first half of the year. So we have here 6,700 plus. So we have 48,120 pesos. Oh my goodness. 
it's almost 50,000 pesos in six months oh my goodness oh my god I can't believe guys that we have this um, you have saved this much in six months time okay so let's see how much we have saved in the second quarter only Okay, you guys. Let me just zoom you in, guys, so you can see. Okay, guys. So for the first half of the year, we have managed to save a total of forty-eight thousand one hundred twenty pesos, just in savings plan and savings challenges only, not including our sinking plan. And we have this much amount. So I can't believe it, guys. I am just so so grateful that I have um, I have found this um, budgeting community to inspire me to start our journey and you know continue saving even if sometimes you want to give up but because of the support and the inspiration that you get from the budgeting community you want also to go on until you reach your goal so Yes, I'm just so so thankful you guys I cannot believe if it was the old me I can't save this much money I know I can save I do save before but at the end of the month or at the end of the year it's gone so but now so I have lasted this um this long I'm and I'm still um in this journey so i'm just so so happy guys and so thankful so yeah so so for the first half of the year we have forty-eight thousand one hundred twenty pesos and for the second quarter alone we have saved a total of twenty three thousand four hundred ninety pesos and um, if i can do it guys so you can do it also and i'm just so amazed guys by how this um, system really works and I so you guys just being consistent even if you're just putting in small amount but you are consistently putting money into your envelopes it will really grow in time and you know what's it's only half of the year so what's more for the whole year how much more we can save for the whole year so I'm just I'm really really looking forward to how much we can still save for this year and 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 I know all of us are having financial difficulties because of this pandemic but I am really taking advantage of this um, pandemic to save and that is because um there are less temptations because you can number one you cannot go out or if you can it's limited number two eating out dining out are also limited so you can save there parking fee because you, unlike before you're always like unlike before we're always like um going to the mall three to four times a, a week we can save on parking fee because we just um went to go to the mall once once a month this is for our grocery so i'm just taking advantage of all those things and, and save any amount that i can spare so that's it guys i'm just so happy guys so that's it for i'm just so happy guys and i hope guys um I'm not bragging and I hope guys um this um will also inspire you guys to start your savings savings journey and you know just start small and eventually it will grow. So that is guys for today's video. Thank you so much guys for watching and spending your time with me. Thank you so so much guys for following my journey and supporting my journey. Maraming maraming salamat. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much guys once again. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to hit the like button because it, it will definitely help the channel. And, and that's it guys. Maraming maraming salamat. Keep safe everyone. God bless and I'll see you next time. Bye.